affecting the whole nervous system. So for Nancy, you see, it is, you see, all these different ways. There's not like one modality, like, oh, this thing is going to do it. Of course not. But you see, again, 640 muscles, and the idea is to retrain with all the new information, all those 640 muscles in their proper way, according to Mother Nature. And I always forget the name, but whenever you see that like Da Vinci kind of, you know, balance, you know, and it has spiritual intonations. Why? Because of the connection, the oneness of body, mind, and spirit. So I like, again, Mirka Knasta over here, you see, because this book, uh, even the title, Discovering the Body's Wisdom, in other words, this is a spiritual path unto itself. And again, Peter Levine, you see, is what he showed his whole life. He was at NASA for about 40 years, you know, with the space program. Really? And he's he, the he, expert, he, yeah. He designed it? Any designers? Yeah, he worked with the stress that astronauts have and the post-traumatic stress. He actually has two doctorates, one in electrical engineering and one in psychology. But what he showed, Bill, was how, see, that incredible post-traumatic stress when it's held in actually precludes and preempts spiritual growth because it's the exact same area of the brain. Whoa, it, you see? So in, in other words, no matter what honest attempt we all make, it, it, you see, yeah. but, uh, right? If it's locked in, so to speak, in the body, it's sort of like working against ourselves. You, uh -huh. you, you, you see, it's kind of, you know, that tension there. So, Tell us again just, the name of the brain, uh, the part of the brain uh, you're referring to. What part of the brain you're... The nucleus accumbens. Yeah, which it, now for the brain, real quick, see, is this, and Alexia knows this, is, is um, that is the model which is accepted now, this is big time because it explains so much. The model which is accepted is called the triune brain, one, two, three. And the model is beautiful, why? Because it is based on evolution itself. It's based on mother nature. It's not a contrived, but it's actually based on the evolution of humans. So in short, what it boils down to is one, two, three. See, the lowest, of course, is called, you know, kind of, wow, the reptilian brain. Why? Because we actually come from reptilian stock. And Carl Sagan actually won a Pulitzer Prize on this called the Dragons of Eden. And that's when it became popularized at first. So in the brainstem, no frills. Here's Bill, you know, see, and kind of just good housekeeping. Keeps the heart beating. We need that, and we'll digest the food which Bill eats. Okay, basic housekeeping, everyone needs that. So that's the reptilian brain in the lower area, the brain stem. Not too exciting, but we have to live, you know, the basic functions.